This is Gene Key, KTTT News. Amarillo.com reports Sergeant Steve Bartley, 35, of the Mule Shoe Police Department, was released from University Medical Center after he was shot twice, responding to a domestic disturbance call late Friday night. The officer responded to a call at about 11.30 p.m. Friday and was shot twice by Juan Mendoza Casada, 44. Bartley was hit once in the side and once in the chest, but Bartley's bulletproof vest stopped the bullet in his chest. Bartley returned fire, hitting Casada multiple times. Both were transported to Muleshoe Area Medical Center and then taken to Lubbock Hospitals. Bartley was taken to UMC and released Saturday afternoon, and Casada was taken to Covenant Medical Center. Casada remains in critical but stable condition. The investigation has been turned over to the Texas Rangers and the 287th District Attorney's Office. NewsChannel10.com reports more than 60 pounds of marijuana was seized in a drug bust on Interstate 40 in Oldham County. Saturday morning, DPS troopers pulled over a vehicle west of Amarillo. A dog was used to discover the marijuana valued at more than $350,000 hidden inside the trunk. 54-year-old Ye Cheng and her passenger had been booked into the Oldham County Jail. The drugs were being transported from Fresno, California to Fort Worth, Texas. Just in case you haven't marked your calendar, Duma City elections will be May 12th. The general election will be held for City Commissioner Place 1 and City Commissioner Place 2. Also, Dumas Independent School District will fill the positions currently held by three members, Brent Clark, Kirk Pope, and Johnny Schmucker. Voting will take place between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. at Dumas Junior High School, East 5th Street and Maddox Avenue on May 12th. If you'd like the latest Dumas Panhandle and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.